Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to give you a tour of my scrapbooking room. Um, the past week or so, um, I've been cleaning out my scrapbooking room in anticipation of um, my New Year's resolution of scrapbooking my stash. I'm, I'm going to try not to buy any scrapbooking supplies other than adhesive. So let's see um, how long I can do that. But um, and when I clean up my room, my scrapbooking room, I know now, or I reminded myself of what I have. So I'm going to make sure and use that before going out and buying anything. Um, I also wanted to make the room more useful for, um, I have a little office area, so like where I, I keep track of my bills. And then also I have uh, just a little area of where I do my school stuff um, and then of course 90% of the room though is my my uh, scrapbooking so let me take you around my room okay I'm going to uh, show you my room from right to left so this is my room here I've been working on it for the past couple of weeks to make it look a little bit better. My scrapbooking room has to serve three uh, purposes. So that's what I've been working on. This rack is new. Um, I put some scrapbooking kits in there because like I said, I want to scrapbook my stash before I go out and try and buy new things. I wanna shop in my own stuff first. And then in these closets here you'll see I store my paper my 12 by 12 sheet protectors uh, all right there some extra binders that bottom one is where I keep my scraps I, I don't keep everything here is my fancy acrylic and other things I use for mixed media some binders uh, I store my stamps right there um, and then up are my extra scrapbooking cases. Um, here is where I store my small paper pads, some extra embellishments, my sticker machines. So I've been working on purging, and here's some photos I need to organize. Okay, this area here has nothing to do with scrapbooking. It's like, it's my office. Um, it's uh, where I keep, um, I make sure I pay my bills and I keep a lot of my school stuff there. Um, this is a, a cart that I pull out, um, that is labeled and labeled everything. This is the top one's for my silhouette. The bottom, the middle one is for when I need to, after I scrapbook, I need to put things away real quick. It's going to go in there. And my bottom one is for my when I do plan uh, my planner stuff. Um, there's my silhouette, which I need to use. <laughs> um, here on this this table here will be my um, where I do my school stuff. Um, here is my desk for when I'm scrapbooking. Uh, I need to show you my new. Um, uh, shop light because the uh, lighting in here is terrible at night and on days like this when it's hazy but when on good days that window gives good light so um but anyways here's my desk uh, in the back you'll see that there's a unit back there that I do store things in so I have my embossing my sticker machine printer some um, paste uh, I have my TV. I haven't hooked it up to the satellite yet, but um, I need to do that. Here's my stuff that I use. This mess here is all going to, to my classroom. It's just because I'm on winter break. And then you can't, I don't know if you could tell, underneath is some more stuff that I don't use that often. Some more acrylic paints, glues, um glue stuff, other craft supplies that I don't use that often. Okay, 
over here I have my stamping um, so in these three baskets I have stamp it up close to my heart and uh, miscellaneous stamps that I haven't put away yet my wooden stamps and then my uh, scrap rack which I just recently cleared out and put new you know reorganized so hopefully I'll you I'll use it more often here is my um, scrap 12 by 12 scrapbooking paper these are my themed I don't really scrapbook by theme so I don't have that much I usually go by color and then um, all this and all, all this side is um, paper pads 12 by 12 paper pads and then this is just mailing envelopes because I used to uh, sell things um, here are my um, spritz I love to put ink on my uh, papers my layouts um, here's my ribbon all organized by color you'll see uh, again I'm one of those types of people if I don't see it I won't use it so um, everything has to be out there's some embossing my whole um, hole punchers some stamps these are all punches and I have um, I have a resource binder that um, I keep all my stuff in so I know what I have. That's my die cutting, uh, my Sizzix. Up on top is something I've been working on on winter break. And that's putting all my die cuts uh, organized by color. So I've uh, been organizing them by color. Some of them have more than one. And then I have a couple of... Um, couple of themed ones those are my refill of my sticker machines um, on these bottom one here is some scrapbooking kits and some projects I started and never finished this is all my inks I don't really use a whole lot of them but like I said I don't stamp I'm more I need to stop collecting stuff and start using start using what I got. This is all my adhesive. I have so much. I can't believe I have a whole um drawer full, but all my adhesive. And these are my large oversized um punches. Um some tags, some small ribbon, and some twine, and some miscellaneous uh, flowers. Here's where I keep my glitter, my sequins, and my beads. Cards that are made already. I just need to be given to people. Card kits and some uh, miscellaneous Christmas gifts. Here are my Copic markers and other markers that I I've um that I got some buttons and metal all my acrylic boxes these are things that just need to be put away uh one of the best things that I bought was this metal uh bowl so anytime you have metal and you don't want to lose something this is magnetic so it just stays there so it helps me um when I'm cleaning things up anything that's metal can go right there um, I like to have some of my Maggie Holmes stuff out. I love Maggie Holmes. I recently bought this shelf uh, because, like I said, I need to see my stuff so I can use it. So I have my various uh, adhesive and tapes, some flowers. I like to use stenciling with my mixed media. So I have my larger stencils, my medium, and my small. This is a stamp set that I need to put away. This is my embellishment rod that I just made. It's just a dowel that is on a pegboard there. You can take it off and use, um, take off a washi tape. These are my journaling cards. Now, I was recently uh, storing my dies in a binder, but I wasn't using them, so I put uh, magnetic paper onto my pegboard and put my dies up and now I can see all my dies that I have so hopefully I can use them now um, I have my 
cutting um, there, my larger dies. And my husband just recently got me a Gemini for Christmas. So I want to make sure that that's near all my dies so I can make sure and use them. Um, got the nice little picture there. These, all these baskets here all have, are all labeled. So I have, you know, my flowers, my dollies, um, doilies, I'm sorry, and brads and the washi tape one's empty because I have it over there now, but these all have something in them. One thing I also did over winter break is I made these, I brought these back from school. So now when I scrapbook, I have these carts next to me, depending on what I'm doing. So the, the supplies that I'm going to need are out and they're within reach. So the top is when I'm doing mixed medium. The bottom is anything that has to do with stamping. So my Misty, just all that stuff that I need for stamping. My bottom is any type of cutting um I uh, type you know when you cutting paper I can't talk today <laughs> top is um you know distressing middle is any type of mats and uh the bottom is it's supposed to be just for cleaning supplies but I have some other stuff in there too like a little small sticking sticker machine and a, my embossing I mean not a yeah embossing machine there so um those are nice to have and I roll them up against my desk when I'm scrapbooking and then when I'm not I can just roll them right back and they're out of the way so I'm really glad that I did that so that is my scrapbooking room <laughs>